Johnny Depp is going through the worst moments of his career due to the trial with Amber Heard, but Robert Downey Jr. supported him and wants to work with him. However, there is an issue that has impacted Johnny's life even more, and that's the appearance of Robert Downey Jr. in the trial against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Stay to find out all the details. Johnny Depp had a difficult year in 2020. After losing his libel case against the British newspaper, The Sun, the actor was forced to resign from his role as Grindelwald in the third installment of Fantastic Beasts due to a request from Warner Brothers. After being one of the most acclaimed icons of the seventh art during the 1990s, it is now extremely difficult for any film company to want to work with the actor because of his legal battle with his ex-wife Amber Heard, which cost him a lot of money. After accusations of domestic violence, no producer wanted to be associated with the famous Edward Scissorhands. You simply can't work with him now, said one studio head. He's radioactive. An anonymous director told The Hollywood Reporter, but only his friends trusted him. Johnny Depp received job offers from Tim Burton and Robert Downey Jr. Despite the fact that his career was declining due to legal issues, the truth is that the actor's friendly bonds forged throughout his artistic career are stronger than ever. And it is for this reason that, after being fired from his leading role in the sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean, as well as his role in Fantastic Beasts, Depp received the unqualified support of his friends. A clear example of this is his colleague and friend Tim Burton, with whom he has collaborated on several occasions, resulting in great box office successes such as Edward Scissorhands, Sweeney Todd, Dark Shadows, Sleepy Hollow, Corpse Bride, and Alice in Wonderland, to name a few. And it's that according to We Got This Covered, Burton is currently working on a series of The Addams Family, and is looking for his friend Depp to be the one who gives life to the famous Gomez Adams. At the moment, the information has not been confirmed. However, everything indicates that it will be Netflix who will take the project in the company of Burton. Along with Burton's offer, Depp has the backing of Robert Downey Jr. According to We Got This Covered, Downey Jr. would have offered Depp a role in the next installment of the Sherlock Holmes saga. However, it's important to note that, aside from their friendship, Depp and Downey Jr.'s stories are very similar, and it was due to a series of scandals that RDJ's career seemed to crumble, until he was offered the role of the legendary Tony Stark in Iron Man. Since then, his career has risen and his problems have faded, so it is not surprising that Robert wants to give his great friend another chance. Also, Dior went ahead with Johnny Depp, choosing him as the face of its advertising campaign for the launch of the fragrance Sauvage. With this, the French company has received thousands of compliments, particularly from Depp's fans who affirm that he is innocent and thank the brand for giving him a chance now that his idol's doors are closed. One fan tweeted, Friendly reminder that at Dior stood by hashtag Johnny Depp and that they deserve our appreciation and support for that. Buy hashtag Dior Sauvage for Christmas, justice for Johnny Depp. Of course, the campaign has also received hundreds of criticisms, especially from social media users who claim that Dior is insulting victims of domestic abuse by working with him. However, the company does not plan to back down, and it really is that Johnny Depp has not been legally tried as a perpetrator of domestic violence. And even Johnny himself said, I have not been proven guilty, and everyone judged me as if I was. So, bravo to Dior. Meanwhile, the trial in which Johnny Depp denounces Amber Heard for describing alleged physical abuse and death threats in an article for The Washington Post, published months after reaching a divorce agreement, is currently taking place. Because the Amber Heard that I knew for the first year, year and a half, was not this, was not this, um, suddenly this um, opponent. Last week, Amber Heard testified in her defamation case against Johnny Depp, giving jurors a completely different version of the couple's relationship than her ex-legal husband's team. Johnny Depp has sued his former partner for $50 million over an article she wrote in 2018 claiming to be a victim of domestic abuse. Throughout the first three weeks of the trial, Depp claimed that Amber Heard's mood swings and proclivity to bully and assault him harmed him. In contrast, Amber Heard revealed a different story, portraying Depp as a domineering and violent man prone to jealous rages and drug binges. In response, she has filed a $100 million lawsuit against Depp. They have both denied any wrongdoing. Amber Heard told of the hell she lived through next to her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, and here are the most impressive experiences and testimonies from those days. Heard described her first encounter with Depp as strange and remarkable. Heard claimed she went to Depp's office to audition for a film he was producing, but it turned out to be a lengthy conversation in which they discussed literature, music, and poetry. 
She found that odd because while she wasn't a fan, she recognized Depp as one of the world's most famous actors. So it was already a weird thing to go and get called in his office. I'm a no-name actor, she said. I was 22, I think. I thought it was unusual. It was weird because he was twice my age and a world-famous actor, and here we are getting along about obscure books and old blues. I thought it was remarkable. I thought it was unusual and remarkable. I left there feeling like, wow. The next piece of evidence and testimony is a photo of a bruise on Hurd's arm that she claims Depp created during a previous violent altercation. In court, a photo of a bruise on Hurd's arm was revealed, and she described the incident that allegedly caused it, alleging that Depp smacked her and that walking away made things worse. We got into a shouting match, and he kind of did this thing with his body where I could tell he was going to hit me again, she said. Hurd claimed she picked up a vase and hurled it at Depp. And I actually managed to get away before he got to me. He grabbed me by the arm and he kind of held me on the floor, screaming at me. I don't remember how many times he hit me in the face, but I remember being on the floor of my apartment and I'm just… I remember thinking, how could this happen to me again?" she said. Heard continued recounting her terrible relationship with the actor. Heard described Depp as the love of her life, but added that he was also this other thing that was awful. And that other thing was awful, an awful thing that would come out and take over. And it was, you couldn't see underneath the Johnny I loved, Heard said. Depp, she claimed, would pass out in his vomit, lose control of his body, and have others clean up after him, including her. I mean, this man lost control of his bowels and I cleaned up after him. His security cleaned up after him, changed his pants in front of me, he would pass out in his own sick, she said, adding that Depp would become clean and sober before returning to make her feel loved once more. Heard contemplated leaving Depp, but couldn't. And he expressed to me so many times when he was in that period of getting clean and sober, he would tell me, you saved my life. Baby girl, you saved my life, she said. One of the most powerful testimonies given by Amber during her time on the stand was when she stated that she feared for her life. She said Depp threatened to kill her. Heard claimed that during a family vacation on a yacht, Depp believed she told his children that he was a drunk, resulting in a physical argument and Depp threatening to fucking kill her. Heard stated that she and Depp's daughter, Lily Rose, had not talked about Depp's drinking. Regardless, he accused her of it and became enraged. So I was trying to tell him I was trying to comfort her. I was trying to protect you. He basically was accusing me of doing this thing and making them aware that he was drinking again. And he slams me up against the side wall of the bedroom, slams me up by my neck and holds me there for a second and tells me that he could fucking kill me," Hurt said. Even with all this information, the verdict has not been announced. However, the jury is expected to determine that everything Amber said was more or less a lie and that Johnny Depp is innocent, especially since he has the support and backing of more celebrities and people. So, did you like this video? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content like this, and above all, leave us your comments and theories below. See you in the next video.